Oh, sweet Mary, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, it is so hot in this shipyard. What am I going to do? Oh, God, I just need 17 pints of ice cold lager with two or three peanuts. That's all I need, honestly, that's it. That's it, just lager, lager, lager. Wow, it's hot in here. Anyway, whew, better get on with some filming. Welcome to another episode of Sailing Ruby Rose from the Saigon Shipyard. As you can see, I am on the coach roof, the carbon coach roof of hole number one. Hole number two is over there. More about that later. Today, we are going to talk about safety at sea, accessibility features, to make sure that when I or Teresa are climbing up onto this coach roof, everything is safe. Keep watching, you're going to learn a lot. Good morning, one and all. Uh, I have to apologize for the sound if I start because the sound's coming from AirPods, the camera connects to AirPods, and that's as good as I can get, even with all the filters. So this morning, back to the factory. It is a beautiful sunny morning in Ho Chi Minh, which is rare. We are coming to the end of rainy season. So I am heading back to the factory. It is the 30th of November. There should be a lot of progress. The last two windows should have been bonded in, and I'm looking forward to seeing that. And I'll have a good chat with James, see what's going on. And also, I'm going to schedule a, an interview with Miriam next week so that you all have an insight into how the, ship, the interior should be designed. Obviously, we've got Francois Peru designing the, the, it's kind of like the hull. The inside is Miriam. And I love this girl because she's so damn clever. Anyway, that's coming up. New episode for you. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going to go and get my breakfast from the usual Ban Mi place that I get to without getting myself killed. But Ban Mi, hum guy. One Ban Mi, not spicy. Yeah, it's uh, 10 past 8 in the morning and it is too hot. hot. Like crazy, crazy hot here. That's my morning coffee. Six seconds to go. Okay, in the words of Run DMC and Aerosmith, but prior to that, Aerosmith, walk this way. Main cabin, not a lot to see here, templating from headline as you saw that last week. Everything going in here and this cabinetry is all complete bar the catches. What I would say to you is though now, as I walk back this way and this little guy who is just doing the plumbing, but also, and I'm gonna spin this round, is electric heads. I guess from people that have us having a, a manual flush for so many years, this is a really big thing for us. Also, now back in the saloon, we are in a mixed stage here between things like this, which is the template, the uh, green MDF that you're oh so familiar with, which actually is the, uh, this is going to be the nav stable. Moving swiftly around, we have the template, the provisional size of the saloon table, which is drop down. But also talking to James this morning, what they now have, and again, oh my knees, under here, this very large mechanism for raising and lowering everything. On a, it's on a gas truck, so literally it goes up and down very slowly. But that is a very, very nice table. And we could get a really good idea of the size of it all. So let's take a swift dip down into the starboard hull, see what's going on here. So what we have is now final placement of doors. These, if you remember from last time, were just templates. These are now all swinging in and these bins, pretty nice, pretty nice to see. Steps are in place. Templating for the headlining is in place. Uh, this cabin is close to being complete. So actually interior fit out, we are doing pretty well here. Let's look at this one. Again, that's the size of the storage bin you are going to get. One thing that James has told me already this morning is that the, the galley is now complete. So this is the final cabinet. I'm going to pull this off and sort over there. So you can see a shoe fly over. It's because I've done something I shouldn't have done. Bar the work surfaces, the galley is complete. And I'm going to take a swing around this because actually galley size and galley storage is something that you are all super, super interested in. I will put all this back, I promise you. James is giving me a, the stink eye over there. He's like, <laughs> so yeah, just gonna swing around there. He's just there. Like, 
but I promise I'll put it back and I'll take a photo. Uh, fridge freezer, gonna go in there. So it's, that's the size of the opening there. And then the final, final, final cabinetry. Sinks, double sinks. And I'm gonna put this down here while I pull this all back on. There you go, no chance of getting any more bollocking from James. Okay, have a look here. And again, I'm just gonna take a swing through this to show you things like drawers, cutlery drawers, everything that's gonna be in place there. And this obviously all goes around for us. It will be a very large sweeping Korean work surface. So let us just go through the fantasy of how we would get a step out of the cockpit. We are here. There is a handrail here. First handrail. Come round, come round, come round, come round. Three point harness, clip, unclip there. And now what we have is safety of use. And there was so much work that went into these, the steps. How do you safely get yourself onto the coach roof for an inclement weather? This is a boat that is designed not just for these strapping athletic buggers, but actually the more mere mortals of, amongst us. Me, I guess. So, double step. Step, step. And now you can see up stands. I'm not sure if these are bonded in. So yeah, you've got one, two, three, and you're up. And actually, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool because to tell you the truth, one thing that does scare me is being up here in a seaway, having something caught and needing to get up here, being able to clip on and get up there safely is super damned important. Hold, 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 hold. Step down, step down, step down. And then up, fold that flat. A very, very clever system. We talked about captive line management because a few of you buggers on the 1260 were like, I don't want to be treading on lines. It was never a problem for me. But this, you can see now this has all been fitted. So you've got the lines run under there from the bath base, all through there, through turning blocks. And then, and then it's all safely hinged away. No screw panels there. Easy to see, easy to wash. It's not just about access, it's about getting the salt off your line. I mean, now to get a hose under there and to wash the salt off your line will mean that they are more flexible, they wear less because there is less, more flexibility. So you have to understand that it's not just about safety, it's about actual maintenance and little maintenance jobs. Like, for instance, just cleaning your lines, washing them with fresh water, and as an aside, an egg cup of fabric softener actually goes a long, long way to keeping your lines supple. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, please give us a like, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. Even if they're snarky ones, I can fire back all day long. Anyway, this is hole number one. That is hole number two. We've shown you a lot this week. I will show you even more next week as we get closer to launch. Take care, goodbye. So you all are shower and honestly i am sweating if i sweat anymore my balls are going to be like those apricots you get in honey in greek restaurants it is horribly hot it is so hot honestly i think i've had drier balls in the bar eh, anyway that's my life what can i do what can i do it's just just life in saigon love it love it love it but honestly dehydration whoo sweaty balls yeah the fact that this is wetter than a minx minge what can i say life is hard sometimes but also very good also for those of you who don't know what the word minge means look it up it is very 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 english okay that's a sign up you're never gonna get to see that one goodbye hi honestly i live next to the chicken farm it's hard it's hard like being woken up by cock every morning <laughs> yeah better cut that better out as well